We are back. With more Red Dead Redemption 2. I got Mike out of jail. Oh, thank you, Arthur. So where is he? Oh, uh, he's gone. Still out around that way. Looking for a peace offering, he said. Okay, right, so yeah. I'll catch you later, then. Okay. So, what is this? Oh, I, I, I'm going to study the chicken. What you oh, let's go hunting. For? The greatest of gifts. An unguarded stagecoach. No, you simple-minded fool. Bison. Bison? Bison. How much you can get anything? There's some over on the plains, I believe. I saw a couple a long way off. Oh. Right? Good luck. You want to come with me? I'll show you how we hunt one. Sure. Why not? All right, let's do this. Mount up then. Let's go. Come on, boy. All right, Charles. Where are we headed? You know, it was before my time, of course, but. My mother used to tell me stories of how her tribe moved with the bison. They lived almost as one. Where the bison went, my people went. And they were the center of all life. We couldn't survive without them. They provided us with everything. Food, clothing, shelter, tools. There was a lot of respect. Huh. I don't remember much of my childhood. But I think my people, well, we pretty much moved with the whiskey. <laughs> Well, my father did that too. Let's try over here to the left. Hi, right, you lead the way. I am following you. Over there. You and try that? not to run into you. Incredible, aren't they? We should only kill one of them. I'll keep them ringed in and you see if you can bring one down. Okay? Clean as you can. Okay. Yeah, it's probably going to be the repeater. Yeah. Oh, shit. Okay, in for a penny, in for a pounding. It was not clean. Well done. That was not clean. Alright. Skin and butcher it. Take the horns, too. Can all be used. That was not clean at all. My goodness. No way that's horns fitting in the bag. Good job. Throw that on your horse and mount up. I wanna go check something out. Okay, let's go. All right, boy. Where are we headed Where now? Are we going? I thought I saw some scavenger birds over here. Just wanted to see what attracted them. Charles is ridiculously smart. Uh, we'll, we'll take a shotgun. Whoa, whoa! No. Look! Bison. Shot and left for dead, it looks like. Why would someone do that? I don't know. But I see tracks heading in this direction. I... don't. I say we follow him. But I'll trust you. Right. Lead the way. Could it have been an animal? No, they've been shot. I just don't know why anybody would just leave them here to rot like that. For sport? I don't know. Look, another dead bison. On the hill to the right. Come on. I don't see it yet. Uh, oh, oh, there it is. Dead again. But this one looks fresher. There's a camp there. I'm gonna take a look. All right, let's go.
So smoky. Still smoky. Probably means they are not far. Maybe half a day since they left. Bison's been dead about the same amount of time. What do you want to do? They could still be in the area. Let's get up higher. See if we spot anything. Alright, here we go. This way. We should have a good view from up here. Okay. You see anything? See some smoke to the east. Maybe another camp? It's worth a look. All right. Let's go. Bastards. Just killing for fun. You think we can talk? I don't kill for fun. I kill when I need to. That's fair. Oh, I am so sorry, birds. It has to be them. Come on, wait up. Oh, whoa. Charles is going. Charles is a gunning. Okay, dude, I can't catch up to him. Oh, this should be interesting. Did you fools shoot those bison? What's your problem? I said. Did you fools shoot those bison? Calm down, you black or red bastard, whatever the fuck you are. Hey. Did you shoot them? Yes, we did. We shot them bison. We'll shoot you too if you don't get. What business is it of yours? What? We. <gasps> Holy. Of mine. Holy. Oh, You're crazy. I got a family. A family. Those bison don't have families. Stand back, Charles. I'll get you some answers. Alright, let's get this show on the road. What the hell are you doing? Why are you killing those bison and leaving them to rot? I don't know what you're talking about. You just admitted to it. God damn it, tell us and you're dead. Oh, okay. We were paid to kill as many as we could. And make it look like it was Indians. Just kill him, Arthur. No. Oh, please, don't kill me. I'm begging you. Charles, you wanted this. Damn right. That's what he deserved. I've seen enough of this. I'm heading back. All right, see you, Charles. I'm gonna see if there's anything worth. I'm just gonna their loot their camp. I'll catch up with you later. Something right here. Apple and bourbon. What do we got here? We got another body. We got a lockbox. Got here a poison throwing knife pamphlet. That's pretty cool. Let's loot this stranger that Charles blasted in the chest. Take a bread chunk. Turn back. Oh, use some right now. Get my dead eye back. And then I'll take oh, that one. Looks like there's something else over there, but there's a lock. There's a tin. Not a lockbox, a tin. I can't carry more horse reviver? Well, it's a good thing that I have it. Rifle express cartridges and gun oil. Well, that looks like... That's it. And we are just gonna leave. And, you know, I'm gonna bring this back to camp. Which I think is this way. Oh, but Jose is so close. Jose is so close. 
Jose is so close. Um, I'm gonna go to. We're we're gonna go to Jose since we're all the way out this way. Emerald Ranch. There's a train right there. Let's see what Hosea wants. It's an interesting way of putting it, Seamus. Uh, no doubt. I do interesting very well. It's trusting. I don't right think there. so well. Please. I know how to work with good people, Seamus. And I work in the right way. Well, they all say that. I never met an idiot that called himself one. Hi, this is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes this. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves? To this clown? What you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. Listen, uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay. I'll tell you what. Arthur. Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now you go get that. And then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin by marriage. I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now, you survived that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmody Dell. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I'd love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. <laughs> Sounds like a very important detail. But hell yeah, I'm in. Let's just have this bison pelt. Really? Really. Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. Me? The other one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Oh, clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. So you can keep up, old man. Could have played that better, couldn't you? Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Come on, Hosea. That feather's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches? That's easy money for us. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. Yet. If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus' old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. Easy. How are you feeling about things now? What things? This place. The gang. Been here a few weeks now. Good, I think. Better. I figured more folks would have cut and run on us, given everything that happened. Like Dutch always says, the lone wolf don't last long out on the plains. He does like to trot that one. Hey, let's keep it down now. We must be close. Tell me to park in here. Oh, sorry. That must be the place up ahead. We should go on foot from here. Okay, I got my guns. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. I do not have my guns. I have pistols. There's the house. I see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. Are you walking? Okay, let's take a quick look at the place. Oh. 
Anyone around? Yes. Okay. I reckon we can do it now. In broad daylight. I'll head over, distract him by putting on a little show where you sneak into the house, find what you can, then get the stagecoach. Or wait until nightfall. Sneak in, then I'll get the coach. You can try the house. What do you think? Why we... Uh, yeah, we'll go now. Do now. We're here now. Sure. All right, then. He puts on I'll a show. <laughs> if we mess this up, we'll just do night. Wait until I have them distracted outside, then sneak into the house. I heard. Okay, cool. I go now. Just telling, uh, uh, your, oh, Junior, what's your name, son? Robert Crawford the third, sir. Dip the third. Pleasure to meet you. Both of you, uh, my name, my name is, now don't tell no one, because in New York, I'm kind of famous. I once performed on Broadway. Now that's not important or relevant. I have been saved. I have been found. Oh, no, I, I saw it in your eyes. You think I'm a nut? Do you think I'm a nut, Bob Crawford the Third? I ain't interested in no religious talk. I'm not a religious man. Respects them as has it, but I got something better. Way better than church. And twice as useful. Free. Spinal alignment. Please be open. What? Spinal alignment. Spinal what now? What are you selling? Come on, give me something. I'll take the watch. That's ten bucks. Money clip. Easy money, right here. Okay, okay. Alright, come on, give me something. Fireplace is on. How, how the hell is he pulling this off? How the hell is he pulling this off? Ah, uh, here we go. Here's the chimney. Hundred and fifty dollars in bourbon. Just 
Jose, I keep them, keep them, keep them distracted. Keep them distracted longer. Let me get this chest. Let me get this chest. Have a think about it. Be no. No, 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 no. Oh, shoot. No, no, no. Quickly out the door. I'm gone like the night. I'm gone like the night. Rob the house clean. Get on, dear boy. Oh Jesus, you're already here. Come on. Get on and let's head back. I'm working on it. Yep. We're going right by the house. Hey, horse, follow me now. Yeah, I know your chest was robbed. I robbed it. Don't check the barn. Check the barn. Don't check the barn yet. And we gone. Damn it. I think you should have been more careful. Yeah, sorry. Must have left the dresser open. I left everything open. So what were you able to lift from the house? A lot of money. Found some money stashed away. Must be a few hundred, not too bad. Not bad at all. Yeah. This was easier than hunting a thousand pound grizzly anyway. <laughs> no doubt. I won't forget that in a hurry. I'm looking forward to your retelling of that one around the campfire. Take it easy, Arthur. All right. It wasn't the first time Mr. Matthews had stared death in the eye, and as usual, he did not flinch. <laughs> exactly. How long you think we're going to stick around here for? Not sure. Until we can't, I suppose. We ought to get back on our feet. Slow Wait, I have a surely. dead controller ruin the moment. Just need to keep at it. Dutch has a new money chest stashed in a safe spot away from camp, but it's a long way from being full. Okay, here we are. Just pull the coach into the barn there. Easy. Slow down. Hello, What's up, doggy. Seamus? We met your cousin. Don't stand in front of the way. Fine. Nice people. Mm. Park that thing in here. Quickly. Doing it, doing it, doing it. Uh, nice work, Hosea. It's mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse, but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? Yeah, I'll go. I gotta drop off this pelt anyway. I gotta give this pelt to Pearson. What's up, Charles? Yeah. 
already wishing we left Sean hanging from that tree. Oh, I know what you mean. <laughs> Funny how you see it my way now. But now we can sell. Nope, nope, nope. I'm gonna hitch him. A fence. Alright. Hitch the horse. We'll get... What is that? What is that icon? At the table. Dominoes! Hell no, I'm not playing dominoes. Not when there are missions to do. How's it going? I'm surviving. That's good. Pearson. Been hunting here, oh, you? that's Swanson. Morning to you. you know these hides and furs can also be done up into coats and boots and such. Beyond my skills, oh, you know what? trapper that travels around these parts, Canadian feller, skill tanner. He can make just about anything. Take you that. On him Take that. Yeah, Take yeah. that. Oh, thanks, Pearson. Not the best Take water, that. But some seasoning will hide it. Shut up. Who else is getting you food? Many thanks. Uh-oh. You just said uh-oh. There should be some room. There you go. There you go. Enjoy that. Who is this? Where is this? Who said hi? Oh, there is. Hello, Molly. I want to listen to this. I mean, after Blackwater, we don't want any more deaths. I ain't just some two-bit huckster, Jose. Uh, I am willing to die for this, if that is what it takes, but right now, I need to be left alone by all the second guessers. As you wish, my friend. Sheesh. Sheesh, 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 sheesh. I'll get us out of this, Arthur. You know that. Probably say something. All right, I can't say anything to him. Sure you will, Dutch. Jose, uh, where you going? Jose, where you going? Why don't you sit, Arthur? Sure. You okay, Arthur? I guess. He seemed kind of worried. Course I'm worried. What about? The whole world's changing. Even I see that now. Our time is pretty much past. They don't want folk like us no more. <laughs> this their rules will be damned with you. No more outlaws. No more killers. Now it's us being hunted. Oh, they ain't stopping. We went and made our choices a long time ago, so... I guess we gotta pay for our sins. Oh, Arthur. What a sad world we live in. Well, I ain't sad, Mary Beth. I'm just I'm realistic about what's coming. But I, I keep killing animals needlessly. And I don't know. Arthur. Oh, Arthur. You're the only one of these fools knows just how lost he is. Ain't that the truth? Ain't that the truth? Well, 
was actually like a nice conversation. But what is this question mark? Was that it? Companion. Well, thank you. That was, a, that was actually a nice conversation. So I, I don't know where Hosea ended up going. But, yeah. That's probably going to do it for this part. And next time... I guess we got to do the Strauss mission, because that's... That's the only main story one that's left right about now. So next time, we'll go ahead and do that.